Looking more into the day-to-day -day areas, restricted areas and work areas allows us to reduce access to unauthorized personnel. Now, in many cases, we have our businesses and we have certain areas where everybody's welcome and other areas where we may not want somebody that's not authorized to get involved in. So restricted areas will put up signs to say employees only or you must have a purple badge to go beyond this particular area will stop unauthorized access or reduce unauthorized access. Now, unless you physically restrain someone from walking into a room, how do you do that? Well, you can lock the door. Unless you have a physical restraint, it's very common for people to slip in unnoticed. In that case, you need to go to your security awareness training and make sure that whoever works in that restricted area understands who can be there and who cannot. One of the best mechanisms you can use for your physical access control is security awareness training. So if your users are working along and all of a sudden they realize a stranger has come into their office area that doesn't have the purple badge on, that they'll stop and alert an administrator that somebody is here that should not be here. There are certain areas you'll find in the CIA headquarters that if you walk through as a guest, you'll have a white blank security badge. That security badge basically means you have no security at all. When you walk into a room, many rooms that have monitors on, as soon as you walk in, there's an electronic signal that's sent out to the sensors in that room stating that you have no security and every monitor goes off immediately. It's kind of annoying if you're working there because as soon as a white badge walks in, you can't do anything until they leave. But again, high level of security. Restricted areas make it harder for unauthorized individuals to gain access to sensitive computers, but keep in mind it's not impossible. In addition to having restricted areas, many organizations require escorts or visitor control. How many times have you been asked to sign in the receptionist desk? Now, let me ask you this question. Of all those times you've had to sign in, how often has that been followed up on? Did you leave without signing out? Did somebody run after you to fetch your visitor badge? Did anyone ever query you in the hallway as to who you were and why you're walking by yourself without a secure badge? Many times, the escort requirements or the visitor control are implemented on the front end, but they're not followed through on the back end. The idea behind it is to ensure that all visitors go only where they are supposed to go and nowhere else. If you follow through with escort requirements and your visitor control mechanisms, you can reduce the likelihood that an unauthorized individual will end up in a sensitive area. But again, it's important that you train all of your end users to recognize when someone is in their area who does not belong.